Hello what's up everybody welcome back to another video from eTech Viral. So in this video we are going to learn how we can sign in a user using Firebase authentication. So if you see I already have linked my Firebase application with my Flutter application and if you don't know how we can do this so just hit the link at the top right corner of the video and this will take you to the video from where you can learn how we can create Firebase application and just link it with our Flutter application. So anyways in our application I have created my Firebase project here and also link it with my Flutter application. And here in the material app in the home we are calling simple main screen and if you check this main screen here we are calling our login page and now let's go to the login page in the login page we have two controllers to control two text fields because we are going to sign in a user and that our email and password we are also disposing it here just to avoid some memory leaks and in the build method we have scaffold and app bar of login and a column having two fields of email and password and a button in the center which is login let me show you the ui how it looks like so that's how our ui looks like so now we are going to write some code just to sign in our user using firebase authentication and we will write our email here and password here and when we log in so this will take us to the home page and in the home page we will also create a button of logout so from there we will also log out our user so that's it let's start writing some logic so simply i will add an inkwell widget on this container which gives us the on tap property here on the on tap we will call sign in user method just like this and let's create this method this will be a feature method and inside this method we will simply do await firebase auth dot instance dot sign in with email and password and here in the email we will take the text from the email field so we will do email controller dot text and for the password we will also do password controller dot text and put a comma here just to format it just like this and if you don't know from where that firebase instance is coming from so for that you simply have to add a package which is firebase auth you have to add this firebase auth package in your dependencies so that you will get this firebase instance so again let's move to our login page and that's enough code for signing a user in the firebase and now let's move to our main screen from here there we will check some condition first let's wrap this login page with the stream builder and the generic type of stream builder will be user and here in the stream we will simply do firebase auth dot instance dot auth stat changes which means if the user is sign in or not and now here we will check the condition if snapshot dot has data if the user was signed in so we will simply take the user to the home page home page and in the else condition we will return our login page as simple as that as we are using sign in with email and password if you check here in the login page sign in with email and password so for that we have to enable a method in the firebase authentication let's move to the browser and here in the authentication tab you will see sign in method simply press the sign in method and you will see this email password here click on it and just enable it just like this and press save so now our email and password sign in method is enabled and now let's move to the users and let's add a user here id will be ad3321 at gmail.com and password will be from 1 to 6 just add this user and now we will sign in this user in our application and again let's move to the android studio and hot restart the application and let's try to type that email and password we just added in our firebase authentication the email was ad.com and the password was 12345 and 6 just like this press this login and this take us to the home page because now our user is logged in and there is a button logout which is not working for now to make it working Let's move to the home page and here on the container 
we will wrap this container with the inkwell widget again in the on tap property we will call firebase auth.instance.signout just like this so this will sign out again our user press ctrl s and open our email letter when i press this logout so this will again take us to the login page and also with this we can also add some more conditions in the main screen we will say if snapshot dot connection state was equal equal to connection state waiting so we will simply return in the center child center not center circular progress indicator just like this and also again move to the login page and here we will create a boolean variable which names will be is signing equal to false and now we are going to use that boolean variable here but before this let's add this await method in the try catch block to handle some errors we will do try catch e just like this and in the try block we will pass this method and in the catch we will simply print some error with the specific error and here now we will use that boolean variable we will do sit stat and assign in boolean variable will, will become equal to true and as this is sign in with email and password is future so in the then method we will again do sit stat and the sign in method will become false just like this and here right after this login button we will put some space here size box of height 10 and a simple row with children its main axis alignment will be in the center and there will be some text of please wait and some more space size box of width horizontally about 10 and there will be a circular progress indicator so what that process means when we come to our login page so simply that is sign in variable is false so when this sign in user calls so this in sign in variable will become true when and when this all the process finish so this variable will become false so with this we will handle this thing if the process is waiting what we will show so here we will check the condition if a sign in was equal equal to true so if it was processing so we will show this row otherwise we will return a simple container just like this press ctrl s to hot reload and open this and again let's try to type the email and password and now when i press this login you can see please wait and our user is signed in and now we are on our home page let's go back again and again try this and press this login you can see please wait and if this completes so this navigate us to the home page so that's how you can sign in a user using firebase authentication and that was it for this video in the next video we will learn how we can sign up the user using firebase authentication so i hope if you like the video if so show some love in the comment section and also let me know if something is not clear to you and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you will not miss any future updates and videos like this for now goodbye and i will see you in the next video